the signs of teeth. Chew it up and brush it down. Whoa! Look at that! Science Club for Girls Life. Let's all take one deep dive into the world of science, technology, engineering, and math. Get your safety goggles, cause we're making things explode. Science is so fun, so let's take it on the road. Meet a young scientist just like you, and learn all about what they do. We'll even learn science that's in the news, through one-on-one -on -one interviews, with SCFG Live and friends. Experimenting never ends. Now let's see what's in store. Just press play and get ready to explore. Ho 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 hey hey. Ho ho ho. Hi, young scientists. Hey, hey. I miss you all so much. I can't wait to get started on today's. Oh. 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 Are you okay? Oh. Ow! Sally, my tooth really, really hurts. Oh, why does it hurt? I don't know. I'm trying to eat lunch and. It just really hurts right now. Mm. Well, I, I can't really, I don't have teeth. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, it sounds like, you know, it's a lot of work to have teeth and take care of them, you know, so that it doesn't hurt when you eat your food or, or candy. I can't even imagine if you eat candy right now. <laughs> I know. I mean, I don't really understand why you even have teeth if it's so much work to take care of them. I have to brush, and I have to floss, and I have to go to the dentist, and uh, I don't understand why. Well, why not today? In today's episode, we talk about teeth, and why you need to do all that stuff to take care of them. Well, I guess that sounds good. You know, I might actually have to go to the dentist first, if that's okay. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, we're going to start this episode out there. Hannah goes to the dentist. Okay. All right, bye. scientists I just came back from the dentist and my dentist taught me all about how our teeth work let's learn together what's inside of our teeth by making a tooth model for this we're gonna be using play-doh make sure you have an adult with you if you're following along this can get a bit tricky Wow, this looks kind of funky. Teeth, like cakes, have many different layers, and each layer plays a super important role to keep our teeth nice and strong. The crown is the part of the tooth that you can see. We sometimes call these our pearly whites. You might notice that the tooth is actually a lot bigger than what we can actually see. Our tooth goes all the way below our gums, which is the pink part, right here. The crown is covered in enamel. Enamel is like a helmet for our teeth. Enamel is one of the strongest materials in our bodies. It helps to protect the inside of the tooth. Under the enamel is something called dentin, which is this yellow part right here. Dentin is also a strong material, but not as strong as the enamel. It helps to protect the inside of the tooth, called the pulp. The pulp contains nerves, which send signals to your body, like, ow, this is too cold when you bite into an ice cube, or, Something's not right with this tooth when you have a cavity. The pulp also contains blood vessels, which are these red and blue things right here. The blood vessels help to bring nutrients to your teeth. Teeth come in all different shapes and sizes, but on the inside, they're all the same. They're all made up of these really important layers that help our teeth to be strong and healthy. Even though teeth have many layers and are very strong, our teeth can still become weak or cause us pain. Have you ever heard an adult tell you to eat less candy or brush your teeth before bed? Well, there's good reason. That is to prevent the formation of cavities and plaque in your teeth. For this experiment, we're gonna see how plaque works. Make sure that you have an adult near you because this experiment could get kind of messy. 
Plaque is a sticky, slimy substance made up of mostly germs that cause tooth decay. A cavity develops when tooth decays or breaks. A cavity is a hole that can grow bigger and deeper over time. Today we're going to be using water, yeast, and sugar to see how plaque works. The sugar is going to show what happens when your teeth have a lot of sugar on them. Okay, for this experiment we are using two cups here and as you can see I, you know, made this uh, mess-free zone. We got paper plates to catch any water or anything that comes out of this experiment. Um, and we also have sugar right over here. We have a cup of water each in here to pour into our two cups and we have our yeast. So first you're gonna pour your water into your cups. And remember, it has to be nice and warm. All right, now, we're gonna grab our yeast. And we're gonna add two tablespoons. So right here is a tablespoon. One, two, to each cup. Okay, and we're gonna stir this around. All right. Mm, it smells like bread. Okay, now we're gonna add sugar to just one of our cups and see what happens. At first, me and Hannah were worried that the experiment wasn't working, but just like plaque in your teeth, cavities take time to form. So with this experiment, you're gonna have to wait a couple minutes to see the results. Whoa, did you see that? The cup with the sugar is overflowing. That is how plaque acts when there's sugar on your teeth. It grows. You may ask, why is plaque so bad for you? Plaque is a slimy substance made up of germs. And when, it, when sugar is involved, it attacks your teeth. It makes acids to break down the outermost layer of the tooth. Remember we learned this? The enamel. And when this starts to happen, it starts to create a hole in your teeth called a cavity. When that happens, your tooth starts to expose the blood vessels and different nerves that are in your teeth. So then when you start to eat, it's gonna kind of hurt. Plaque especially builds up between your teeth if you don't floss. So yeah, we wanna avoid this sticky mess right over here. And we really wanna aim for the cup that has no sugar in it at all. That's why it's so important to brush your teeth between meals and to floss. All right, thanks young scientists. Please note, Calcium carbonate used in this segment is food grade and should only be used under the supervision of an adult. If following along, we recommend not ingesting the homemade toothpaste. Welcome everybody to SCFG Live! Where we are doing another experiment today and I've got two young scientists here with me today to lead in this experiment. Hi, my name is Uche. My name is Jisung. And we are making toothpaste today. Dr. Dentist told me all the things I need to do to keep my teeth nice and clean and safe. And I, I forgot, I didn't buy any toothpaste from the, from the grocery store. So today, I guess we're gonna have to make it. All right, so I got a couple fun facts about toothpaste before we start. Was toothpaste made 10 years ago? No. Oh, when was it made? It was made thousands and thousands of years ago. Like when the Romans, the Greeks, and the Egyptians were alive? Yes. Oh my goodness. That, that's a long, long time. Is it the same recipe from thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago? No. no. How did the recipe change? Did they add a chemical or something? They added a chemical called fluoride. Fluoride? That's a hard word to pronounce. Can we all say it together? Fluoride. fluoride yeah oh i know what fluoride is the chemical and it helps you rebuild the enamel on your tooth let's say you have plaque or a cavity right and it's gonna break down the tooth and make it weak so when you put fluoride in it helps build up the enamel so are you guys gonna help me lead this experiment today so that i can have some toothpaste so that dr dentist is not mad at me yes yes all right let's get started for this experiment you are gonna need Calcium carbonate, baking soda. Yes, pre-measured baking soda. Small restaurant package of sugar substitute. Perfect. Peppermint extract or vanilla. Some water, 
Thanks, producer Hannah. Some toothbrushes, plastic spoons, and plastic cups. Perfect. And today we have a special, special scientist tool. It's called a pipette. Now, pipette is gonna help you just take up a little bit of liquid and then put it down. All right, scientists, are we ready to lead in this experiment? Yeah. Yes. Into the big cup. What's next? Sugar packets. All right, so now that we added all our dry ingredients, what do we have to do next? Now let's add the extract. Yes, and what are we gonna to use to add the extract? The pipe. The pipe. The pipettes, yes! All right, let's do it. So first, you're gonna grab your pipette with nothing in it, right? And then you're gonna squeeze it a little bit, and then you're gonna dip just the tip and then you're gonna let go. Let go. And then, do you see that? Yeah. That it went in. All right. Now that we added some peppermint extract to our things, do we know what we have to do next, girls? We have yeah. to mix it up. Yes, you gotta mix it, mix it all up with our plastic spoons. Do we think that this is sufficiently mixed? Uh, no, we need to add water. water. Oh, so right, we have to add something to make this a paste, right? Because when you have two pastes, it's not like powder like this. It's like a paste. All right, we are gonna add some water and we're gonna try to use our pipettes once again. So keep adding some drops. Let's see if this first pipette full is enough to make this a paste. Hmm. Ooh, this feels icky. No, it's not a paste. Yeah. Not yet. It's still a lot of powder, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think you need more water? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's grab some more water. It's so crumbly. Right? I need more water. Want more water. Turning into a paste. Yeah, there we go. How do you I know when it's it. turning into a paste? When it's very liquidy. Uh-huh, and mm. like very smooth. All right, now that you have a consistent toothpaste, we are gonna grab our toothbrushes. Would you guys like to pick your favorite color? This Purple, orange, oh, I'm gonna pick green. We're gonna put our toothpaste on our toothbrushes. Nice. Now, if you're at home, maybe you'll want to put this on your teeth. It's perfectly safe, I promise. But we have mask on. I'm not gonna put toothpaste on my mask. <laughs> so if you brush your teeth before, after every meal, you guys should be safe from all that plaque and all those cavities that will attack your teeth and erode them and it will make them weak. But with this, you're gonna be what? Strong! Strong. Goodbye, Goodbye, everybody! Food and stuff. 
How do we keep them nice and strong so they can break down all the foods? Well, it's really important that you keep your teeth really clean by brushing twice a day and also flossing twice a day. So, what I tell people is when you want to brush your teeth, you should sing happy birthday twice. And that will get all parts of the mouth. And so when you do that, and then after that, you can floss in between the little parts of the areas that the brush won't get. So if you do that twice a day, you're going to make your dentist really, really happy when you go for your checkups. Whoa! That's awesome! You hear that, young scientist? Brush your teeth twice a day. Sing happy birthday twice. Oh, how do you know? Questions. I have a friend, definitely not me, because I do not have tea. Okay. Who are scared of the dentist. Wait, can you tell us what it's like to go to the dentist? Maybe they won't be so scared anymore. Yeah, so we recommend that you go to the dentist twice a year, once every six months. And then what happens at the dentist is you're gonna go and sit on this magical chair and it goes up and down, it can go left and right, and it's kind of like a roller coaster. Once you sit down on the magical chair, then we're gonna take our special tools and they're gonna give you a little bit of a tickling feeling and they're gonna just they're just gonna check and make sure that all the teeth look good, they sound good, and most importantly, they're doing all the jobs that we want them to do. So if you do that twice a month, when, twice a year when you go to the dentist. Awesome! Can you check my teeth real quick? Let me see. There you go. Looking good, looking good. It's not scary at all. I yeah, promise. I just did it right now. It's just, that's it. And it's gonna be really quick, and then sometimes when you go there, they give you movie star sunglasses, because the light can be a little bright, so you gotta be in your movie star mode, okay? Holy gosh, thank you so much for answering all my questions about tea. Sally. It was my pleasure. All right, young scientists, see you next time on another Sally's Corner. Bye. Oh, hi Hannah, how are you feeling? Well, I'm feeling much better actually. The dentist was really helpful and explained how our teeth work and why it's so important to keep them nice and clean. Yeah, well, teeth are really important. You know, we all learned a lot about teeth. I mean, even though I don't really need this information, <laughs> we learned about the layers. We learned that they're very strong to keep our teeth strong and healthy. We need to give our teeth extra help. Oh, our teeth. I mean, your <laughs> teeth and human's teeth, extra help flossing and brushing every day in order to prevent cavities and plaque. Oh, thank gosh, I never have to worry about that. Yeah, might still be a good idea to just kind of like brush around in there, you know? Oh yeah, I guess so. I wonder what my mouth is made of. <laughs> That's a good question. Maybe on the next episode, Sally. Absolutely. Well, I think I might actually go brush my teeth right now since I just ate lunch. Yeah, I'm gonna go tell Francesca to brush her teeth. That sounds good. I'll see you soon. All bye, right, everybody. Bye, bye, <laughs> Bye.